What the what? <sighs> Can't believe it. So basically what's happened is... I've just watched this video... Um, by Quinton Reviews. It basically has gone and... He's basically gone and um, explained, you know, um, a situation with Channel Awesome. Channel Awesome is a channel which I've watched for many years. You know, this year I would be watching it for five years. And I've been watching the Star Trek Critic for, you know, the same amount of time. And you know he's one of the few he's one of the few YouTubers which I've continued watching ever since I would since I was um, since I started watching YouTube. You know he's one of the few YouTubers which I still keep watching. But it seems that not at all. You know that I've been played. In the video, uh, Quinton basically explains that um, you know Channel Awesome, some of their staff, well, some of the content creators that used to work for them were mistreated and. Uh, some were, you know, um, yeah, but basically, the, 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 um, behind the scenes, it was very chaotic, and a lot of abuse, and, uh, I think sexual harassment as well. Most of it coming from its, uh, the CEO of Channel Awesome, which I never knew there was. Uh, I thought Dog Walker and, and, uh, Rob... Walker were, you know, the ones that who owned, owned Channel Awesome, but apparently not. And, well, let's just say this. The CEO is a bad person. That's, that's the nicest I could put it. This is, honestly, it shocked me to bits. And... It's, it's it's really hard for me to realise what has actually happened here because sorry I'm just trying to like think really because this has just gone to me all too quickly I'm gonna have to I, I've just watched it a few minutes ago a few ten minutes ago. I need to process things. I, I have. I like. I'm. I've literally just what came out of watching it. <sighs> and I basically there was a doc. Um, there's basically a document. You know, uh, like a. I don't know. A, uh, yeah, basically a document. Basically telling the stories of numerous content creators and stuff like that of uh, what it was like for them and I feel so sorry for them. I can't believe it. I Literally can't believe it You know all those hours all those years watching Shall awesome more nostalgic critic in particular because, to be honest, I don't watch many of the other stuff. And then to be repaid by all of this happening is just... It's just horrible. Honestly, it's horrible. I've been cheated on, as has many other fans. I mean, I've, I've looked down in the comments and I've seen many, many fans going how they're really shocked by this, and I myself commented which is shocking because I um 
a few days ago I told uh, Quinton, you know, can you do a video on, you know, basically downplaying the fact that Nostalgia Cutting is an SJW, and he goes on to do this, so... Okay. <laughs> I guess he did answer my my request, but not the way in which I wanted it to, but... Which is shocking, because I actually think Quinton is at himself a fan of Nostalgia Critic. I mean, he's used some of his footage. Um, and it's it's shocking. Because not only, have this ha not only has this happened, but Adam Pacitti from What Culture and, you know, Cultaholic, briefly, you know, the same as this happening, you know, He's decided he's not he's not going to do YouTube anymore because of the sexual harassment claims, and he's decided, no, no, I can't do it anymore, and he's just decided to, you know, he, he can't do YouTube anymore. It's too much for him, and honestly, I I can't believe it. Two of two of my favourite channels or personalities, both. Are now in scandals. I just, I just can't believe it. I mean, really, after this, I just, I just need to process things, or well, try and I'll uh, play some games, try and get it out of my head, or you know, you know, just try and process through it. Um, but my biggest worry is that. Dog and Rob are associated with this because there are some stories about Dog and Rob. You know, Dog had a, you know, a pretty big ego really, and um, yeah, he didn't speak up for any of the staff really. And uh, Rob, I think, uh, I think it was the same with him. I think, but yeah, this is a real shame because. I, I still I'm going to watch Nostalgia Critic, no matter what. I still enjoy his content. It's just that this has put a stain on that. And uh, who knows? I I may even stop watching. But I, I really don't, because I have I still enjoy Nostalgia Critic. But this is just... This is just... This is just shocking. This is... Honestly... Shocking. I really hope Dog and Rob were just trying to save their careers because, from the looks of things, it looks like the CEO um, actually owns the Nostalgia Critic um, rights. So if you know, and if they try and stand up for the staff, I'm pretty sure they would have been treated the same as the staff, really. And yeah, that would be it, really, for them. I re I really hope that is because. When I see Doug on his, you know, outside of his character, I see a nice, gentle person. You know, look at his charity shout-outs. You know, he's a genuinely nice guy. I really hope that's, that he's just a, having a big ego and nothing else. That he was tricked and he was just trying to save his career. Um, you know, because... You know, I, I, I really hope that he was played, because I just can't imagine seeing Dog that, you know, that Dog which I know, be the Dog which I, I've heard. This is, comes a horrible shock, and I'm, I'm saying it now. Channel Awesome, I've been a fan for you know, coming up to five years. Apologise. You know, someone make sure that, the, you know, get the CEO out of Channel Awesome, apologise, and, you know, and give something back to those people who were abused. You know, maybe give their jobs back, you know, may maybe, you know, give them a bit of money, I don't know, just something like that. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm very sure, you know, if you apologise, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very certain they'll, you know, the people, 
um, at least you know, accept the apology, you know, accept that they did, you know, because you know they accepted that they did wrong. That's that's the least I could expect from them. Please, just just apologize, just respond, apologize, get the CEO out of there, you know, put him in jail, and explain the truth. You know, so then I can at least have some sympathy for you, please. Because I do not want to watch an Assange video and look at, and you know, and then have these horrible memories of what is going on now. I, I don't want your reputation to be tarnished like this. I don't want to watch another Assange Critic video and. You know, instead of bringing me happiness, it brings me, you know, a sense of sadness. A sense that I was played. Please, Channel Awesome. Change the channel.